So now let's work on the login process. So um, let's go right here. First of all, let's go to the routes and add the routes for the login. So this is going to be post also, and it's going to be forward slash login. And then the function, we're going to call it login. And also this imports it right here. Okay. And in the controller itself, we want to create the login function exports.login. And it's going to be an async function and a request and a response. And we do everything right here. Okay. So first of all, we're going to need to have a try catch. I didn't use this right here, so I think it's necessary because you always can have an internal server error. So I think it's best to always use it. Okay, so can you can always use it right here and then in the catch right here. I'm going to take this message and return it right here and also add it right here. Okay, I think this is always necessary to do to make sure that you always can have an internal server error. So you add it right here. Okay, so in the try, we're going to get the email and the password. Okay, to use it to login. Okay, so we're gonna have the email and the password. And after this, we're gonna go and search for this email if it exists or not. Okay, so we're gonna take the we're gonna search for the user if it exists or not, and we're gonna use the email for that. So we're gonna have a cons and the user, and we're gonna go await and we're gonna go to the user and then find one, and we're gonna use the email to search by, and then we're gonna pass the email from the body. And where they are the same, you can like just do it like this, and it still works. So if there is no user, that means this account doesn't exist. So it's simply going to return and then we're going to have a response to Cyrus 400 and then we're going to JSON a message. Okay, and the message is going to be this email doesn't exist or let's see this email address you entered is not correct or is not connected. Okay, it was not connected to an account. So I'm using the same ones that Facebook used exactly okay so now if we want to check so we're going to go to postman and let's have another request so we're going to create a request and let's call it login okay and in the post we're going to have http and then right here is going to be login and in the body we're going to go to row and as i said before json and right here we're going to define the variables so the first one is going to be the email so let's have like some email at gmail.com okay and then right here we're gonna have the password okay and the password is gonna be okay this is gonna be like this and then we're gonna pass some random password right here okay and if we send right now we're gonna see that this is i think this email already exists so let's change it i think this exists okay which is we use this in the some episode okay so let's change this to some random email and we're gonna send and we're gonna see the email address you entered is not connected to an account okay the email address you entered is not connected to an account so now let's go back right here back right here so else so you don't need to use else so because we have a return right here so if this is not true if the user that exists is going to return and stop the codes so right here we're going to go and now we're going to create um we're going to check for the um, for the password if it's right or wrong so because the password that we have in the database as you see right here is scripted using or we use we use be crypt okay so it's scripted so now we're going to check if it's you know the same password or not. right here we're going to have a check and we're going to wait and use bcrypt and then we're going to compare the passwords that we have so we're going to compare the password that we send in the body this password and we're going to compare it with the user those password dot password that we get right here from the user when we search by the email okay and it, and this check is going to return true if the password is uh, is correct and if the password is wrong it's going to be check false okay see so when check is false that means the password is wrong so right here we're going to return so we're going to sub the code and we're going to return the same way right here this way this time is going to be an error let's see what error i have right here it's going to be a valid credentials okay and then we're going to have please try again for example okay so now if the password is wrong it's going to stop right uh, right here okay if it's not you know the password is true or it's not false we're going to do the same thing that we do in the in the register we're going to create a token for the login and also we're going to send the information the information is the same way we did we did in the register part okay so after all of this we're going to do the same way right here okay so now if we want to back to postman let's try and register with a random email we, need, we don't need any verification right now so the password is going to be one two three four five six okay and let's use some random email okay now if we send 
and we're gonna see that we just set the user right now without everything so if we try and log in the same informations so this is the image that we're gonna use and we're gonna use this password okay so in the login right here we're gonna have the email and then if we try to use the same password right here it's gonna be wrong so we're gonna get a message right here and valid credentials price please try again and if we had like the same you know the true password and if we change like something right here if we add one at the end and we try to log in it's gonna see the email address you wanted is not connected to an account okay an account okay and now if everything is all right the email is right and the password is right and try to send and as you see everything is gonna win twice and then we're gonna get the information that you want and also the token that we're gonna need to verify the user logged in okay so this is the way we do it it's pretty simple and the login process is one of the easiest for now